got pixelated AI art, turn those fuzzy masterpieces into crisp, sellable vectors with this free tool. Say goodbye to blur and hello to pro quality. Let's dive into the magic of vectorizing your AI art. The website I want to show you today is called SVG Converter and you can uh, reach it by typing svgconverter.app into the browser and it will look like this. And as you can see, it's got a wide range of application like sketches, photos, you can also vectorize your signature, designs and arts. Basically, you can just upload any pixelated image and um, this tool will vectorize it. Okay, let's scroll up again. And as you can see, it's just drag and drop. So let's try it. I will use the images from my last video. Okay, just drag and drop. And as you can see, it loads very quick. The original image is on the left and it's not yet vectorized. You can see some settings on the right. You can adjust the details, background transparency. You can adjust that if there's a transparency on your image. You can choose if you want color or not and so on and so on. For this test, I will just leave it like that. And to start vectorizing, you have to click this button right here, vectorize. Okay, it's processing and it's done. Let's zoom in to see the results. Okay, let's see this pair. Looks quite good. And as we see the oranges right here, the details are quite good. And now if you want to save this image, you can just choose your file format. Now it says SVG. You can also pick AI, EPS and PDF. Let's just pick SVG and you click download. And there we go. Okay, let's try another image. To upload the next image, you can click the icon on the left hand corner. Upload image. That's the next image I want to vectorize. And to vectorize, you will just click the button vectorize. And here we go. Let's zoom in. I would say that's a good result. Details are nice and the shapes of the tomatoes and the grapes are good. Now I want to test something else. Let's set the details from medium to high and let's check the result. So let's press vectorize and here we go. The details are a bit stronger, but not that high as you can see on this cheese. So I would just recommend that you let the details on medium. So let's run it again in medium, medium and vectorize. Now I want to compare the difference between this vectorizer and vectorizer.ai because this one is free and vectorizer.ai is a paid vectorizer. For this comparison, I will just take a quick screenshot. And here we have the tool vectorizer.ai. So let's pick the same image. Let's just drag and drop again. Okay, here we are. Let's zoom in. And as I already said, it's a very good vectorizer. You can see it in the details right here on this cheese and on this fruit. So now we'll take a quick screenshot of that and let's compare it to the free vectorizer. And here we are on the left, we can see the result from SVG converter. You see the grapes, the tomatoes. Let's see on the cheese, you can already see it. Um, there are much more details on the um, vectorizer.ai result and it's more simplified on the SVG converter one. Also, I would say that there are more details on the glass bottle right here but let's say when you compare the grapes they are pretty much the same maybe you can see more colors right here in the vectorizer.ai result and you can see more details in this fruit right here so in conclusion the result from svg converter is pretty good it's a free tool and you get good results. So if you don't want to spend money, then give it a go. The pay tool vectorizer.ai is maybe just a little bit better, but that also depends on your use case. So I would say if you want to use this graphics for print on demand, for example, then just use the free one. If you like this video and want to see more AI tools like that, click subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.